here today to launch the community-based forest uh, management project and the uh, livelihood enhancement in buffer zone of uh, Post River uh, National Park, Post River State. Uh, the project is all about securing an important uh, forest resource for nature conservation and uh, ecotourism and sustainable natural resource management for present and uh, future generations. The eight uh, other communities that currently have own this community, uh, this forest, uh, is the forest uh, that we, are, we want to do the project to protect in the next three years is important because it's one of the uh, remaining intact forest ecosystems in the uh, West State and uh, an important uh, biodiversity aspect in Nigeria as it borders the West River National Park and because of the endemic uh, uh, biodiversity that uh, within the forest. Okay, what, do, what does this project intend to achieve at the end of the three years you mentioned? Through the project, we want to have uh, an enduring uh, forest uh, governance structure in place to help enhance the sustainability of the project, through which we, uh, there are other components which seek to address sustainable agricultural practices, but this is a critical environment. Also, we want to see what we can do on the uh, livelihood enhancement and the uh, creating value chain and the market linkages for natural non timber forest products that abound in the forest and also to see how we can network for more beneficial uh, for more um, mutually beneficial interventions to for to safeguard the future of the forest and the enhance the livelihoods of the people that live within the forest environment. So while coming to this community, I, I noticed that it's not actually a very easy community to reach. In terms now, of accessibility. In terms of accessibility. Now we are in the dry season, and I we also accessibility. Definitely. You see, uh, you have a good, you have the good size to eat, and you have equally the uh, bad side to eat. And uh, I, will, I will emphasize on the good side. If the place had been easily accessible, maybe probably today we will not be having those forest resources that are there. I'm not saying it should be completely inaccessible. Uh, the bad side is that um, our people shouldn't be made to suffer. People living in forest edge, uh, forest edge communities are very important because they not only have to protect these uh, important uh, resources, but they help guarantee the future. And uh, once they are opened up and uh, there are linkages, sufficient linkages with them to the outside world, then they can properly showcase uh, the forest. We look forward to the cooperation and uh, support and to now encourage them to strive as much as possible to leave something for the coming generations too. Okay, so who and who is I know uh, who and who are taking up this project, like the agency the involved. Conservation Foundation is partnering with Nature and Biodiversity Conservation Union, Jamo Nabu, with the support from uh, uh, said. What we had experienced today is what we had been praying for. The Nigerian Conservation Foundation launch the existence with the QSI today. And it's a matter like what I had earlier said, we have been praying for all this matter to help us conserve our forests and manage our forests. Uh, uh, how do I put it? Uh, sustainably. That is exactly the word I wanted. We have been managing our forest, I think, with the existence of this uh, National or Nigerian Conservation uh, Foundation. We definitely assist to educate and also help to uh, teach us to manage the forest. Yeah. In the form of uh, protecting the already natural forest and the animal therein. 
Nigeria have been too many. In fact, if I start talking of Nigeria, <laughs> will be, yeah, but the rule we have seen, if God had not said that he came at the time, it could have been no accessible way to get it in case. Challenge number two, the students on employment. Unemployment became a very serious challenge for people and the communities that are involved. The students who have come back from school, no employment, to go to the forest, they say no. It may be a serious challenge, except the government or these organizations see to it that there will be alternative life so that the people who are coming to stay and work with us will see the difference. And then we were not having any hope at all. And what has happened now, those are the most of the challenges that have happened. So the government's activity development. Uh, if the communities, if the organization is ready to assist the community, what stop us from developing or accepting this organization? This organization is well received by the communities. Okay, then the second question. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, the, the expectations of the community is the change of livelihood. If we accept, if they accept to partner with the communities. If these changes will be minimized, if actually they will take to what we are requesting from them and what they will request from us, we all have accepted to receive them all and to so get them. What we want the organization to do, one, they will change the livelihood of the people. Two, they will change the activities of the forest uh, structure. Three, we will be able to partner in a way that both the, uh, the government and the community will have a, a synergy where we will be meeting every now and then so that anything, anywhere, any moment we were going astray, we are able to join hand and correct all those lapses that were in between the uh, areas we are talking about. So the last question for me. What's uh, your about yeah, the Yeah, Sekopan did a lot. Mm -hmm. was here. Yeah, is an organization that had been uh, in charge of uh, orphan monkeys. So when Ebola came and they could not uh, continue with them, they went. And we really received their impact. We got their impact. If this organization will also give us the same helping hand, we will be happy. Educationally, most of the buildings, from what we are seeing, I even made mention of that. Some people contributed to us that, that if you are in a community, you look about the welfare of the forest. You must look about the welfare of the people who are also in it. We receive strangers. We live in a house. We entertain people. All these ones are people we are trying to give a look at so that others uh, organizations that have been, have been assisted, most of them had uh, empowered some tailors, most of them had empowered uh, a big farm and fishery. So if they are coming with that vision, it is still Thank you. Thank you.